welcome. Uh, perhaps fitting music to have the uh, criteria uh, intro since uh, since Map Rando uh, gave the criteria palette to to our selection today. So this is the format that I'm going to be doing. I have these all masked out, and I'm going to unhide the names and times as I go through. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so the format was basically we were starting in the room before Plasma, the Plasma tutorial room, and had the started out with the low percent ice item set. And your goal was to get Plasma, come out, and then take damage from Apuyo. So uh, starting right out, uh, first runner that we have is Krokermeyer. Very important to turn on the Japanese text. Uh, Krokemeyer chooses to jump over the Puyos at the start. <laughs> Damage boosts off of all of the ground pirates. Diagonal bomb jumps. And then chooses not to take damage from these Puyas. He's going to choose a different set instead. Coming down the tube. Laying a power bomb and going through the door before it goes off. Same with here. Did you see that Puyo ice clip? Killing t Shack Tool. And then taking damage from this Puyo. And then uh, Map Rando automatically spawns you, uh, respawns you where you were. So, so that's Krokemeyer's run. And uh, the time was uh, from the timing was uh, when you first encountered Game State 8, which is normal gameplay until you actually took damage from the Puyo. And in Krokemeyer's case, that was one minute, 34 seconds, and three frames. So, had, f had fun with that. Uh, for most of the tasks, we're going to uh, revisit the, the room itself in, in slow motion, but... Uh, uh, can I okay decrease rate yeah okay there we I like that slow slows down all of the audio as well. Can you go and morph into the beam? We're gonna stop there. So, uh, but yeah, that that was fun though, Kr Krukmeyer. So, 
<laughs> uh, so our next tasser is Nobe Nada, who created a whole new tasking emulator in order to make his submission. MVI. So I'm using I'm using his video. So taking a downwards D-boost off of the previous. CWJ off the right pirate. Alright. And there's the end of the timing. Uh, so go back here. All right, uh, so one thing I will note uh, not a, is that right here, uh, if you press A twice, you can actually skip the animation of the uh, helmet turning all the way forward. Um, I think there was at least one other person that didn't do this. So it, it doesn't matter for the uh, timing method that we used, but just uh, wanted to note that. And there are actually a fair number of runners that aren't aware of this. Slow motion. Yeah, so taking a downwards D-boost and jumping before the door. I think that was a corner boost off of off of that corner, which is neat. Right. Yeah, so the pirates take three shots each if you're using purely beams. That guy from off screen, then wall jump check. There's the D boost. I mean, there's the damage. All right, and not as time was 25 seconds and 33 frames. Next tasser is me. So I also chose to take a downwards T boost. Used power bomb with the RTA strat. Which gets the wall pirates AI active. Alright. There's mine. Uh, unfortunately I I forgot that the wall pirates are vulnerable to uh, missiles and super missiles, so completely forgot about that. All right, now in slow motion. chose not to uh, aggro the right side grounded pirate. I tried that in one of my earlier attempts. I decided to jump on him instead. Use them as stairs essentially, then de-boost off that one. And then fix the door at the end. Uh, unspin in order to boost down from the ceiling. And my final time 
was 24 seconds and 48 frames. Our next tasser is idle. Yeah, idle also didn't do the uh, helmet turn skip thing. Alright, chose to do uh, facing forwards deboost. Firing on this at the first pirate. Deboost there, dropping back down. Just ball jumping up. And taking damage there. Alright. Now in slow motion. Yep, so remaining forward, just taking the damage to get boosted down. Aggroing the right side grounded pirate. Yeah, getting a super. Supers on the wall pirates. And that door looks perfectly fixed. Which is neat. All right. And now, uh, and idle's time was 22 seconds and 49 frames. So a whole two seconds faster than, than me. Uh, and now we have our top two. So this is Muzo and Snick. And... Uh, decided to put them in a side-by-side -side comparison video. Uh, and that, that starts with the timing, so taking out their, their menuing at the start. So, just for reference. Both taking out the right side pirate with super on the way down. Yeah, so that was extremely close and uh, ends up being. So Muzo beat out Snick by two frames, which is incredible. <laughs> So, uh, GG to both. It's amazing that you were so close with different strategies. Uh, so, you know, now that now that we've seen, you know, uh, the winner, let's let's look at each individually. So, Snick. So Snick remained forward for the damage. Fired a super at the at the top pirate. And also uh, fixed the door on the ground. Uh, so I'll go back in slow motion. So killing those two left side pirates with one shot, yeah, fixing the door, and able to stay on the ground to arm pump. Uh, and Muso. So first, first at full speed.
decide to kill all of the Puyos at the start rather than boost off them. And then jumping through the door to fix it. And then going back for slow motion. Yeah, so using ammo to kill all the all the puyos at the start. Killing a pirate. I think that was a corner boost. And using just using the enemies as a ladder on the way up. That's everything. So, yeah, here are our final results. Uh, GG to all the runners, and uh, thank you all for participating. Uh, anyone watching this, hope you uh, hope you participate in the next one. Love to have more people. Uh, I have I have an idea for the next round. I just have not. Uh, created the ROM for it so uh, hope to do that in the next few days so uh, should be able to post the uh, next round fairly soon but for now that's going to be it for me and